Hi there, I'm Bonnie Muirhead with BonnieAppetit.com and today I'm going to give you some seasoning ideas when working with artichokes. So artichokes, if you've never seen them, look like this. They're actually a part of the thistle family, but don't get them confused with Jerusalem artichokes. Those are more like a potato. They're totally different things. So we want the green, leafy, kind of spiky looking vegetable. Now artichokes are impossible to eat raw. So don't even try. We have to cook them down so they're really soft. And I'm gonna show you how to, to get it all ready to go. The easiest way to cook an artichoke is to poach it. So first I'm gonna show you how to cut it up to put it in our poaching liquid. So what we want to do is take the top off, maybe a third of the way. You have to use a little force sometimes. And then you're going to take most of the stem end off as well. So you just want this little bit. This gets very fibrous and it doesn't taste very good. I'm just going to remove these little stems. And then I just want you to check and see if you can feel any uh, little pokies, any uh, stickers or thorns. If you feel any of those, those will hurt if you try to pick them up. So we're just going to use our knife and kind of cut it an angle just to cut those little guys off. So this is what an artichoke looks like when it's ready to go into our poaching liquid, which I'm going to show you how to make now. I just have a pot of just normal water. I'm going to just pour in a little cheap cooking white wine. And I have a little smashed clove of garlic, some lemon. This is going to keep it from going brown, a bay leaf, and some fresh sprigs of thyme. So all we're going to do is put our artichoke in there. And then we're going to bring it just before a boil. A poaching is before it's like it's thinking about boiling, but it's not boiling. And we're just going to let that be until it gets softened. Just cover that. Okay, so to save time, I've made some in advance. I'm just going to show you what they look like when you cut into them. So the way you want to test an artichoke to see if it's done is while it's still poaching, you just stick your knife into the bottom where the heart is, the heart's in the center. So through the stem and it should come out easily. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the artichoke in half. What we want to do is get rid of this, there's some fuzzy stuff in there and we don't want to eat that. So I'm just going to use a spoon and take out a couple of those leaves. So now if you're just going to eat an artichoke as an appetizer, this is what it can look like. Otherwise if you just want the hearts, you can take all of these, all of the leaves off, just like so. And you're left with the tender, like the meat of the artichoke, which is sadly only about this much. But uh, they're really good. You can buy these in cans. But I like to work with the whole artichoke because I like to eat the meat on the leaves. So what artichokes go well with? They go well with what's called a remoulade. And it's a mayonnaise, mustard, garlic, lemon juice, and parsley sauce. It's almost like a mayonnaise. So put that next to it. It also goes really well with balsamic vinegar. Pour a little bit of that. And squeeze a lemon. You can always drizzle it with a little olive oil. And a neat tip about artichokes, they're actually really good for a hangover. So think about that the next time you have a big night. Now, to eat an artichoke, all you have to do is pick out these leaves, start from the bottom or the outside. You see this meat right here? Dip it into your little goodie and just bite it right off until you get down to this heart. And then this, you can just eat just like that. And you can serve them room temperature or you can throw them on the grill if you want. And once again, I'm Bonnie Muirhead and I've just given you some seasoning ideas when working with artichokes.